Hello everyone and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I'm here with some Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. When we last left off, we had a talk with Liliana and oh yeah, we slept with Alistair. Let's go talk to Alistair again. Hi honey. Look. Oh. Before we go any further, I want to say something. You want to I have appreciate her. that you brought me to see my sister and that you... Oh, I wasn't expecting another talk with them like this. Okay. Down after we left. You're a true friend. I am a I bit more than that. <clears throat> love you. I just wanted to tell you that. You already told me that in the last uh, in the last one. I think I saw these cutscenes out of order. <laughs> okay, I love you too. Well, now that that's out of the way, I, I something wait, you need, I, my dear. You were telling me I love you in the last. <sighs> oh, video or oh, hitting milestones out of order. That's adorable. Of course. Um. Tell me about the good ones. Such as they are. Nothing else. Great, something you need, my dear. Something you need, my dear. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Um, let's go to sleep. I'm not going to ask where he thinks this is going because that's a gigantic trap. That is the trappiest trap I have ever seen that has ever done in Trapdom. Okay, now we can yes. have our regular party. Yay! Yes. <coughs> Perhaps we'll stop dying everywhere! What's down here? Oh, Hunleith, right. Um, let's go to the Village of Haven! Wait, what? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Um, yes? I'm going to go with yes. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I've still got a little bit of a coughing thing. I'm trying to get better, but no, I'm just sitting here recording instead. Oh! Oh, for a second there, I thought I was going to get it. Wait, did I just make it all the way across Ferelden without a single fight? Okay. Oh, Wynn is properly holding her staff now. Good for you, Wynn. Um... There we go. Let's level up a shale. So much con. Um... Blah, 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 blah. blah. Ooh. Yes. Come on! Alistair, my future husband and lover and awesome person of win. Let's go. My sword is still on fire. <sighs> do, 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 do. What are you doing in Haven? Oh, hi. There's nothing for you here. Uh, um, I have business here. No, you do not. Uh, I would yes, have been I do. If someone was expecting a visitor. Is there a better gin TV here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Irik will know of whom you speak. Revered Father? He's That's not a thing. At the moment and cannot be disturbed. A revered Father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Um, are your traditions very different from ours? Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. Wow, that sounded pompous. Yearn is nothing but a legend. That doesn't answer the question. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is. You totally do. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. Um, and you don't know if Brother Jen TV is here? No. Uh, it's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Uh... Let's spray him for a while. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. Um, very well. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Um, no. Older, or is it just me? Oh, Alistair, you silly Billy. They're obviously hiding something terrible. Let's see here. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up? Were you down? Chasing rabbits round the town. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Um, tell us, tell us where you've you're been. You're creepy. Come, come, yes. Bonnie Lynn. We've a bed to put oh, you in. Oh, I can't kill the kids. It is Damn it! It will shelter from the storm. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. 
We've a bed to put you in. Will you shut up, kid? Oh wait, the the peaceful crib within. A mossy stone, a finger bone. No one knows but Lin alone. Why is he just standing there reciting that? Oh, Alfred. Yoink. <clears throat> What's over here? The village shop. Eh? Might as well go in and see. <clears throat> What's in here? Ooh! I need that. Oh, and even little boots. I can give those to Zephyrin. Hi, shopkeep. Who are you? You're not from Haven. No, I'm not. Why does everyone tell me that like I don't already know it? We, we don't get very many visitors. You're probably all inbred then. Seen a man named Brother Jenna TV? No, I've never heard that name. Something about How would Haven. You describe the place you know only as home. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. Okay. This guy's sketch. Much sketch. So sketch. I'm gonna keep both of those. Because they look fancy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sell this one. Because that one's better. Um. No, 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 no. No, don't need these at all. Cameo cowl! <laughs> Let's say. Every so often, a bolt of inspiration hits an inventor and subsequently propels society forward into a new era. This is not one of those inventions! A small enchanted medallion sets on the front of the headwear is supposed to bear an image of the person dearest to the wearer's heart. However, at some point, likely in a domestic disagreement sparked by some idle fancy, the cameo was damaged, leaving the cowl forever displaying the image of a stern looking woman of elven descent who stares up from the wearer's head. <laughs> Still, other enchantments redeem the hood's utility, and the note tucked into the interior seam suggests a further upgrade made by the last owner. Fixed! Much better without the stutter! Oh, that's, that's, that's a, that's silly. You don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that, or that. I'll keep the larium dust just in case. Or that. Of course he doesn't have anything that I can- mm. Silly game. Not letting me have things. Okay! What happens if I go back here? Are you gonna- What are you doing? That's private! Um... I'll just take a peek. No! I'm afraid I'm going to insist because you're being very suspicious. No! You, you have no right! Is it time to squish something else? <laughs> yeah. Obviously something is wrong here. What is back here? Well then! What of Earl Eamon's knights? Oh. What's on your mind? Not talking to you, Wynn! Oh. Okay, I'll talk to you. I have watched you for a time, and perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. He seems less guarded when in your company. Allows himself to relax, and he seems genuinely happy. Aww. Well, I'm happy with him. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before. Damn straight you were. I am sorry. No. You want the best for both of us. What you have may not last forever. Death and duty may part you, but love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. You do you realize you're standing right next watching. to the corpse of an Earl, well, Earl Eamon's knight? It brings warmth to these old bones, to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. Thanks, when? <laughs> done and done. Arrow of filth! That's sketch. Oh, shopkeep. I'm taking your stiffs. I just walked into this guy's shop, went into his back room, and it's murdered him. Oh shit, down. hi. This should be easy. I think I pissed him off. Let's get started. I think I pissed him off quite a lot. This should be easy. 
You are mage. Obviously, there's a cult involved because these guys' names are cultist. Which obviously means there's an obvious cult of obviousness somewhere. Let's go find the cult. Hi, cultist. Let's get started. <clears throat> Maybe I should have waited. No, well. Oh, what's that? No, I want the death route. Fine. Fine, I'll kill you anyway. Hi, you're a reaver. I do not actually have the Reaver specialization because I've never had a playthrough where I've done the things needed to get it. This should be easy enough. I want it. Now give me my damn death root. A whole town, maybe. Yeah, pr pretty much Alistair Honeybuns. More death root! I will consume the death root! You guys are gonna be getting a little bit of my husky voice today. Cause I keep coughing. <coughs> Case in point. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy. You are a mage. To be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not. For she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her- I need to talk to you. <laughs> ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. Sure, wandering, that's what I was doing. Not murdering everyone. So um, you killed the nice of Redcliffe, I saw the bodies. This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. She will tell others of us if we let her. Word will yes. spread. Yes. And then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. Hmm? What about Brother Genitivi? What have you done to him? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Uh oh. Enemies approaching <laughs> as you wish. Well that was a not a much of a conversation. Probably would have gotten more had I not murdered their village. Oh well. Let's get started. Wait, what? Oh wait! Alright guys, I realized that that was on the wrong difficulty setting again. Because I might have turned it down while I was doing the extra missions just so I could get them done quicker. <gasps> Oops. Sorry, guys! I thought it was a little bit easier than it should have been. Okay. Killing the guard! Killing the guard! So I just wiped out their village. Completely. Utterly. Okay, Alistair, let's give you some more points. Ooh, does this mean... Holy shit, guys. I need to check something real quick before we finish that. Nope. Screw it! Learn how to- learn how to game! Damn it! A second there, I was hoping I'd have enough to give him that armor, but I can't! More strength! One more level and he'll be able to. Let's see, what should I give him here? Death blow. Fills an enemy, the end of the battle seems closer to hand, restoring a portion of the warrior's stamina. Sure. Okay. Anything else that I can gather? Ooh! An inscribed chest. Ring of faith! And a silver bar that's probably a gift for Zevran. Whoops. Ring of faith, and fire. That's for a mage! I wonder who I should give that to. Hmm, maybe the mage? Chest! It is done. Bow. Um. Is there anything else in here? No. Brick wall! Brother Shadow TV! I've been looking for your butt! 
Oh, okay. We will talk to Brother Judah TV in the next video. Because my thing just beeped and he is currently laying on the ground, possibly dead. And Shale is half standing on him. Shale, knock that shit off. You know what, Shale? Move. As you stomp over his head. My love? My l Aww, you just call me my love! Okay, now that I've ruptured your eardrums with my fangirling, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'll see you all in the next video of Dragon Age Origins. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and all that stuff under the video, and I'll see y'all next time!